Hello and welcome to Arash Motor Company. My name is Scott and I am one of the operations team here at AMC. During the current global pandemic, we've received a lot of messages of support, of enthusiasm, and of people just wanting to come and have a look around the factory, see what we do here, and meet some of the amazing people that we have working for us. We're allowed to stay open as long as we stay COVID compliant, because we're in manufacturing. So we can't have as many people as we like, in fact, really anybody coming to tour the facility. It doesn't stop us though, because we want to show you the sort of thing that we get up to on a daily basis. And so I invite you to join us for a tour of Arash Motor Company. So the first thing that greets us as we head into reception is the fact that we've got our showroom. Now we normally have the AF8 in this space here, our bright yellow demon, but it's having a little bit of work done. We'll go and see that in just a minute. So the first thing we want to show you is the showroom. This is where we have our legacy. So you might have seen Arash's videos a few weeks ago in regards to the 20th anniversary of Arash Motor Company, where he kind of went through these vehicles with a little bit more detail. But a general overview would be this is where it all started. The Arash LM. Essentially, the Le Mans car. Arash has always been an amazing fan of Le Mans and he decided to build this car as his very first car to pay homage to Le Mans and to test, really, his own abilities to build and engineer vehicles. The Fabu GTS was the first mass production car that was made. We sold about 75 of these in total and all have been fantastic until we actually sold the rights to Ginetta. And so Ginetta took it on from there and have made a great sports series. After this, the AF10 was created. This one, really the eye catcher. This is the one that everybody wants to see. In its current guise, it's currently running a hybrid V8, pushing just over 2,000 brake horsepower. And is currently in the process of being fettled up, shall we say, a little bit of cleaning happening to this one, hence all the doors are open and getting ready. Because it's just come back from Top Marks in Monaco last year. And uh, we couldn't be more proud of this one. This is the one that really is what we call the flagship. And then we'll go and have a look at the AF8, which doesn't look quite so glamorous because it's currently in Bay 1. So we'll step through here. This takes us out into the workshop area. So the AF8 was one of our latest creations. Powered by a naturally aspirated V8 engine, currently receiving a little bit of TLC in Bay 1. Technically, our current car, but we might have something else to show you rather soon. Arash has his own private collection. Some of the most amazing cars that the world has ever seen. And the offices are upstairs. We'll take a look at that now. So, heading upstairs, take a little jog. We try and keep everything as clean and as meticulous as possible because we always feel that a clean environment helps stimulate creativity. The offices were designed exactly in the same way. So this is our design studio and where most of the team meetings will take place in a kind of an informal setting. You might recognize this from a previous post. A forged aluminium BBS rim. This one's going on the new hypercar. Mm. Some of the offices 
Arash's office in here, the CEO gets his own special office. You might see his helicopter that he's featured in a couple of his own personal videos if you follow him on Instagram. You can always tell my desk back there, it's the one with the fruit pastels on it. And then we have our boardroom. Again, you might have seen a little bit of that. And on the table is our new hypercar. There we go, enough of that. <clears throat> so, we'll be building that later. Let's head back downstairs. So, we always like to have our friends at Supercar Driver on the table. Always a good read. So, as we head down, we'll head down now, down the little corridor that we call the Hall of Fame. Just because we've got some artwork down here. Always been a fan of Le Mans as Arash bathroom. And we've also got some old school racing ones. This is Arash when he was very, very young. Young Arash. So out into the main workshop area. Again, Arash's need or desires to have such a wonderfully clean environment spread out here as well with not just the epoxy resin floors, but also whether it be in bay two, everything is meticulously spaced into certain areas. Obviously, these are parts of the AF8 currently being worked on. But we do mock-ups here with some MDF boards here. This is a prototype of a potential uh, racing car that we, we're toying the idea with. Let us know what you think. Um, should we try a racing car? We're thinking, of, we've always done road cars. Should we build a racing version? Let us know, see what you think. Post in the comments below. And then as you look around the setting, this is the clean room, which we'll go and have a look at in a bit. But these are all of the work areas where you'll find your tools, where you'll find your bits and bobs that you might need to construct everything from bits of sheet aluminium through to bits of carbon fiber to small parts of cars, to car covers, to everything you need all in one spot. So we thought we'd give you a little tour of the wide open spaces. And so now we'll take a look at back of house. The back of house area isn't somewhere that we normally bring customers. So you might have to excuse the less than perfect appearance that we normally have. Everything from our cleaning machine to the racking for storing, tables, our trim shop where we'll be doing some of the sanding, We've just had the, a lot of moving around. There's a whole load more space in here than ever before. Hence why I'm actually able to pan around. But where all the real work starts really is our CNC machine. This is a fantastic machine. It just works like a Trojan. This particular one cuts everything that we need on this particular board out of whatever material we need. Tooling block, for example, would be loaded onto this board and then this machine will come in, cut it exactly how we need it to then be given to the guys in the lamination area to then create a mold. So, speaking of laminating and creating molds. So, speaking of creating molds, this is particularly one of the molds for our new car. Not that we'll let you have too close a view of that. We're trying to keep some secrets. However, probably the two most important gentlemen in this entire room. No. <laughs> the only one's working in his room. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> Introducing Ray on the left and Dale on the right. And they are currently incredibly busy creating a part to go onto the new hypercar. So the mold has been created and the part comes next. So. I'm not going to show you too much of that because we'll get in trouble. So the clean room essentially where we're at the moment, life starts from little strips of carbon fibre like this. So this is literally the beginnings of a hypercar. Tiny threads of carbon fibre. That then goes on to the mould that we make in the CNC machine out here again. That then goes into our oven, which is around the corner. There. 
and when it comes out of there it's a mold and there's some magic that happens in the middle in involving bags and vacuum cleaners but generally that's the idea of how to make a thing out of carbon fiber So once it exits the clean room, it's in its official part stage and it will be put into assembly. Now the guys are currently working on the very first part for the car, which hopefully we'll be able to officially unveil soon and I won't have to be quite so secretive while walking around. And the trim shop is kept rather clean as well. We've literally just put a little tent gazebo up at the moment because it's uh, awaiting a more permanent home, but that is uh, also a carbon fibre rear wing that's sitting there by the looks of things, having some sanding done to it. But you wouldn't believe how much dust is created, hence the, uh, the gazebo from a well-known online marketplace. Other marketplaces are available. And then this is, our, like I say, our back of house, our racking area, but all the glamorous work goes on there. And then once all the parts are created, the parts will then be brought into this large workspace into one of these three bays and from there the car is born and you'll start seeing it take shape and we'll be covering that once the release is official we will be making sure shall we say that you are kept well in the loop so that's just a quick virtual tour of the factory what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a little bit more in-depth work going forwards. So if you'd like to see more of a particular area of the factory, be it the bays and what goes on in a bay, for example, with the AF8 being rebuilt at the moment, be it a little bit more in the clean room, sensitive information going on in there, or whether you just want to see more of reception, more of the showroom, more of the history of Arash Motor Company that we have here, let us know. Drop us a message, like, subscribe, comment, put whatever you need down in the bottom, and we'll try and make videos just for you guys, just for you guys so you can see what we're doing, and we want to create content that's engaging for you, because you can't come here at the moment. It breaks our hearts that we can't say hi in person, that we can't be with you in person, but doesn't mean we can't engage with you. So drop us a like, drop us a comment. We're trying to get our social media presence up and running. So by all means, tell your friends and we'll let's make some videos together. Thanks for watching.